Breakfast finished. <laughs> Good morning world. Welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the city of Shimkent in Kazakhstan. And it's been a really successful visit here. Firstly, the amazing mechanic Kirill replaced our chain and sprockets and the rear wheel bearings and gave Bumblebee an amazing clean. I can't even recognize the bike anymore. It's insane. Bumblebee has never been more ready to hit the road. <laughs> they also kindly invited us to dinner. So we had a really, really nice night with them out and we met their friends. It was really cool. Apparently, Scheimkent is really popular for their amazing restaurants. And I'm really happy that we could experience something like that. The restaurants are like top quality, but like still super cheap. We had some smoke smoked cheese. It went really well with those pints of beer. <laughs> but this day has also been a really good chance to catch up with some video editing. So now we have plenty of episodes to keep you guys happy. It's time to start making some distance across Central Asia and towards Europe. So let me show you guys our upcoming plans. So we are here and over the next week we want to reach here, Aktau on the Caspian Sea. But unfortunately, there isn't a very direct route to get there. This is Uzbekistan and there's no road going round. So we're gonna have to follow this road all the way up to Aktobe, right near the border to Russia, and then take this road back down south all the way around to Aktau. Yes, our new mission here in Kazakhstan is to ride to the Caspian Sea, put Bumblebee on a boat, fly over to Azerbaijan and then go and collect her on the other side. A little bit of a crazy way to do it, but it is the only way because normally you would go on a ferry with us and the bike, but all the land borders in Azerbaijan are closed. So currently the only way they're allowing people to come into the country is by flying in. So Bumblebee gets shipped and we get flown. But today is gonna to be an easy start to a long ride because first we are going to visit the cultural city of Turkestan. Google Maps says it will take us two and a half hours and it's already 11 o'clock, so better hit the road, let's go. Guys, have a look at this amazing, clean and beautiful new chain. And here, new sprocket, new bearings. It just looks so ready to go, eh? Yeah. <sighs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Today we go to Turkestan. You visit Turkestan? No! no. <laughs> Whoa! Hold on a second, we might be uh, flat. One second. Oh no! Wait. Oh no! Oh, hold on. Oh no! Yeah, maybe we're flat. I think our battery is flat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we might need to yeah. jump it. One of these cars is your cars. We, we have the cables to connect to the car battery. These cars here is guests? Yes, but uh, he isn't here. Not here. Or maybe when a car passes here we have to stop the car. We get the cables out anyway. Yeah. So a really good start to the morning. The bike is dead. Note to self, make sure that you start the engine every few days because we left it here for seven days, dead. <sighs> Good start. You are two, two people. Yes. Yeah. With my wife. Cool. Oh, nice. Where do you live in Russia? In Moscow. Moscow. You, nice. You ride from Moscow. Moscow, Turkey, Georgia, nice. Armenia. Now we go to the Caspian Sea, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Turkey, back to Europe. Uh, Azerbaijan uh, board is uh, Yeah, we will put the bike on a boat and then uh, we will fly. Uh, okay. <laughs> the only way. So the red is plus red and plus. the blue is minus. Okay. Yeah. So there we go, good start to the morning, eh? Totally. Or should I say, even nearly afternoon. Oh, oh. no. Oh. Hey! 
Oh, had the, had the kickstand down. <gasps> oh no. Okay. I think we're ready to rock and roll. I think so too. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Do this little turn, hold on. <laughs> so okay. Always a turning. Slow maneuvers. Yeah. It's a skill I haven't yet mastered. <laughs> <laughs> so really glad that Victor, another motorcycle tourer, was there to help us. Yes, and he's touring as well with his wife actually from Moscow. They came down through like, he said like Turkey and Georgia, a lot of the places that we are going to be heading over the next month or two. Yeah, back on the bike, yes! You know when you've left the bike long enough to let the battery go dead that <laughs> you've, we've been off the bike for too long. Yeah, exactly. No, it's awesome to be back on the bike and heading on our way. Yeah. It's time to make some progress. We've been here in Kazakhstan for ages already. Yeah, Kazakhstan is considered our second home now. <laughs> we stopped first in Seme, we stopped mm. in Almaty, yeah. we stopped here in Shimkent. Yeah, and as well, just the hotel prices and also the restaurant prices is so reasonable that it was a really good decision for us to, to stay here. It's the perfect place to have a pit stop, really. I mean, yeah. that that apartment was really nice and new it yeah. was really well furnished it was really comfortable and yeah. it's only 17 pounds a night amazing that's a really good price yeah to know it's been a really rejuvenating stop i mean we arrived in semi like barely humans anymore like yeah. so <laughs> dead after a crazy leg after south korea russia mongolia russia mm. falling off the bike breaking my rib having to deal with chain and sprocket repair as well as the rear yeah. shock repair and the bearings i mean bumblebee and we personally got repaired here in kazakhstan yeah kazakhstan's been the pit stop but now it's time for a new adventure yeah there's a sign here with the different uh, places and the distances and the one in the uk is stevenage stevenage 5180 kilometers i mean never heard about this town i don't even know where stevenage is <laughs> i don't know if it exists <laughs> why would it pick stevenage oh. or maybe it's twinned with stevenage oh maybe gonna look it up look we are closer to thailand than to england wow it's crazy hey I can't believe we're still this far east. Yeah. We've got to make some distance west. Okay, green. Can I introduce you to our new AC? AKA the Moscow Motor Camelback. <laughs> yeah, get the water down my back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and here and here. Oh yeah, that's good. Woo! Nice! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's so nice! It is wow. ridiculously hot at the moment, like 36 degrees this morning. Yeah, it's mad. It's really, really mad. We gotta get our t-shirts a little bit wet and then maybe we can survive. Anyway, we made it out of the city and from here it's now 100 miles, 2 hours on our way to Turkestan. Here we are coming into Turkestan. Oh look, they've got a nice, a big Turkestan sign. Cool. It looks like a really, really modern place here actually, you know? Yeah, look at all this development here. It wow. looks like really, really, really new. Yeah, and the camels. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> An homage to the ancient past where people would have come down this way in camel trains. Yeah, wow, it's like ultra modern developments all around here. Oh, look at this place. It's like a mega hotel resort. Wow. Oh, look, there's an Irish pub there, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stay in there. <laughs> nice. It's nice to see that they put a lot of green space in between as well. Yeah planted a lot of trees whoa look at these giant peacocks <laughs> and i think they're made out of like bushes is that is that, is that plants or is it fake I plants think it's fake it's fake plants yeah still an impressive roundabout look at that yeah and there's like an arena 
very impressive place actually. Anyway, apparently in two minutes we will arrive at our place. Yeah, we found this place on booking.com but we're not 100% sure that the location that they've listed on booking.com is the right place because it's like quite a cheap room but it seems to be like directly in the center of the city. So I'm thinking it's a bit too good to be true to be honest. Yep, turning here. The plan for today is basically to get to the hotel, park Bumblebee, take off our gear and then go and sightsee. Because this city, Turkestan, is an ancient city and is basically the cultural capital of Kazakhstan. You can already see how important this place is and how impressive this place is. And actually the place that we're going to be seeing is a UNESCO World Heritage Site as well. But first we'll get Bumblebee parked up, we'll get this gear off so we don't die. Yeah. And then we can tell you guys a bit more about Turkestan and the places we're going to visit. Okay, it says that's it. I think it is that one, yep. This one, Bamon, Bamon Ortagili. Yeah. This is the one. Right, let's see if this is correct. This is not the place. <laughs> I've had a look on Google. I think it's like one block further down this road. I'll have a check. Hot, 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 hot. <sighs> okay. Okay, it should be this one. Hotel Alpamis. Okay. God. <laughs> yes. <sighs> this is the one. Okay, let's check it out. So here we are, we've made it to Turkestan. Turkestan is one of the most ancient cities in Kazakhstan with archaeological records dating back to the 4th century. It's also an important centre for the Islamic religion and in 2021 the Turkic states named Turkestan the spiritual capital of the Turkic world. The name Turkestan even means land of the Turks. Its prominence is all due to a Sufi sheikh called Koja Ahmed Yasawi who lived and died here in the 10th century and he was so important to the ancient Islamic world that in the 14th century a great mausoleum was built around his grave and that mausoleum is just over there and it's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site and Turkestan's most famous attraction. But before we visit there we've got to get something to eat because I am hungry! So we found this place on Google Maps and it's supposedly like a buffet style place. So hopefully we can find something. Wow, look at that. There's loads and loads and loads of stuff. Unfortunately, there are no good vegetarian options. So I have chosen some filled peppers, potatoes. I've got some unspecified meat in a sauce with some potato. But literally, it's crazy. On the whole buffet, we asked her, what's this, what's this, what's this? Miasa, miasa, miasa. It's like meat, 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 all the way around. So we just got to go for it. Oh, there's actually some cheese on top on my one. That's good. But guys, Kazakhstan is so cheap. Like this place was considered as a little bit more expensive, but we paid like one plate and a drink, three pounds fifty. So we paid together seven pounds. Wow, this is a beautiful garden surrounding the mausoleum. Look at these rows of 
Rows of roses. <laughs> rows of roses. Yeah, this place is super impressive. It's absolutely crazy how many gardeners there are here. Like there are people everywhere, like cutting the roses, mowing the lawn. There's so much work going on here, it's crazy. So this is the mausoleum of Koja Ahmed Yasawi and it was built between 1389 and 1405 by the ruler of Central Asia at the time called Timur. But interestingly, the building wasn't actually finished. So in 1405, Timur died and then all construction work was basically stopped. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and pretty much the centerpiece of this amazing city. So. Let's go have a look inside. This mausoleum has 35 rooms and the entire building is built out of fired bricks. Well, look how grand this entrance is. You can see all of these one of these sticks sticking out the walls. This behind us would be the main hall, but it's actually closed at the moment because they're doing reconstruction work on the inside. You can see like this huge amount of scaffolding on the inside. This main hall is actually called a Kazan Daik. And it's interesting because the dome that tops this hall is actually the largest dome in all of Central Asia. Hello, Kazakhstan! Woo! Welcome to Kazakhstan! Yes. Hello, guys! Nice! Guten <laughs> Tag! Good time. <laughs> Thanks so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. In German health. Uh, Dankeschön. 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 Did you go inside? Uh-uh. No. I don't know what is that. First of all, I don't know what is that. And stop talking. <laughs> this, this is a post office. So we're up on the walls of the ancient city now and here we can get a much better view of this super cool dome on top of the mausoleum and just the scale of how massive this mausoleum is. It's absolutely incredible. It's interesting because actually this design became the basis for the building of the city of Samarkand in Uzbekistan. So the architectural styles of this mausoleum are really, really influential in later Islamic architecture. So there we are, the mausoleum of Koja Ahmed Yasawi, a 1,000 year old ancient wonder of the world. But we desperately have to walk back now. <sighs> yeah, I think it's close to 40 degrees right now, so it's time to get to the AC. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Good way to cool you down. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Good night, Bumblebee. <laughs> and how cool is this, guys? Look at this, look at this. From our hotel room window, we can see the mausoleum. I have never stayed in a hotel room before where I can see a UNESCO World Heritage Site from the window for under 20 pounds. That's mental. <laughs>